Well, hello, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is George. I hope all of you are doing good. Today, we do have another reading, and today is May 22nd, 2024. Make sure I got that date right. Um, and it's been quite a while since uh, poor old Sebastian Rogers. Well, he went missing uh, February the 26th, 2024, and my goodness, no no news about his whereabouts. And if you folks are just joining um, or just try, getting to know this story, uh, like I said, he did go missing. The only person that was with him was his mom, Katie Proudfoot. Uh, from the morning of midnight uh, to 6 a.m., Katie assumed that he was in his bed and... Well, she got up at six o'clock, checked. He was not in his bed. Now, Sebastian is 15 years old. He uh, does have autism. And um, she said that uh, he left out the front door uh, barefooted with only a flashlight keychain. So, and no word or sight of him since then. So, our story today, our reading today, rather, is about a fellow by the name of Tony Mathis. Now, he is Seth Rogers' spokesperson. Seth Rogers is uh, Sebastian Rogers' biological dad. And, well, um, they um, he lives in, like, another county. Uh, but he's, he lives in Tennessee. But him and Katie would, had separated. But Katie has a new husband, or had has a new husband for a few years. His name is Chris Proudfoot. And he has been, well, all over the YouTube channel in a not a great way. But Seth Rogers decided that uh, he wanted to get rid of uh, some of the investigators that he had hired, some of the ladies. And he brought on this fellow by the name of Tony Mathis. And this is where our, um, well, this, this is where our story is going to start with the board. So I'll... Uh, I'll stop the video as I go, and um, I'll uh, talk about it. Now, before we get started, I just want you to know, folks, I am not a psychic. I am not a medium. I just uh, love the hobby of this. I love, you know, studying about cards and trying to communicate with the, you know, the spirit world to see if we can actually talk or if they can communicate. And I always have all kind of devices and items on the table, as you will see. And so far, I'm just going to tell you, the spirits never, ever disappoint me. Never. But take this with a grain of salt, whoever's watching this. This is entertainment, folks. Okay, I want you to understand that. Uh, so this is my, you know, comments and my thoughts. So. Here we go. Um, and I'll stop throughout the video and kind of tell you what's going on a little bit. So, Hello, spirits. Hello, spirits. We have any spirits here on the table, if you can let me know through this device here. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's picking up something. I've got some activity. Hello, spirits. Oh, yes. Hello, spirits. Well, spirits, and I want all the good spirits to come in, but I want all the bad spirits. All the bad spirits, please go away. That's my not welcome. Little. That's, that's my uh, little handmade cross I made. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you always want to try to always bring in the positive spirits and get rid of any negative spirits once you do a board folks i'm telling you it's very very important to do that and when you're through with the board when you're through you talk to the spirits and you tell them to go now i also have help with a dear friend and her name is Marilyn, and she's uh, she's 82 years young, and she is a psychic. She's all been a psychic many years, and she helps me on some of the things on the board here when I show her what's going on. So I want positive spirits, not negative spirits. You can communicate with these devices here. We're asking for some information 
about Tony Mathis. Tony Mathis, he is the spokesperson for uh, Seth Rogers, which is Sebastian Rogers' dad. So Tony Mathis has been in the mix of communications, and there's mixed views. And we're just asking if you can give us some information, some inf insights with some cards and what uh, some information about Tony Mathis that uh, would make us understand his situation with Seth Rogers a little bit clearer. Yeah, there is a lot of people that's upset that uh, Seth Rogers brought Tony on um, and kind of uh, put the uh, investigators to the side. Um, you know, I'm just neutral on this, folks. I'm just neutral. Uh, I'm just going what the board says here. And very interesting things come up on the board that may or may not have something to do about Tony Mathis's, you know, involvement uh, or association with the Sebastian Rogers case. I'm just going to say that. Not accusing anyone of wrong, any wrongdoing, but... I want to find out no, first. Interesting stuff. If we have a... A male, child male, female child, or adult male or child uh, or a female. I hear you communicating. Let me know. Yeah. In these boxes here, let me know, spirits. Can you give me a one, two, three, or four of what spirit you hear possibly at the table, or that you need us to concentrate on? Male, female, child, or adult. One, two, three, or four. Five. <laughs> You're studying. Okay. One, two, three, or four. Spirits. Yep. I can't, uh -oh. can't decide. You're still studying. Spirits. I need a one, two, three, or four. A one. Okay. What we have here that's possibly in our presence here okay we have a, an adult female yeah now it's it's um when you do the readings uh, marilyn has told me she taught me this that you try to want to identify a spirit or you want to relate as much as possible to any kind of spirit or phenomenon that's at the board and Usually right after this, I try to give them a name, but I kind of slipped and went through a few more stages. But eventually, I give this uh, spirit, possibly, if it's a spirit, like a female spirit, possibly. I did give her a name, and uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But um, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know why the female came up like this, the adult female spirit, but I don't know. Adult, adult female, possibly. We're either talking about an adult female, or they could possibly be an adult female on the table here. I hear you talking. <laughs> That's the ghost beacon, the round device at the top, the red device. And boy, sometimes it'll it'll be just real quiet, and then all of a sudden it'll just go crazy. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Okay, now, spirits. <laughs> now, folks, I'm glad to tell you, if you've watched other videos of my ghost board reading with this cup and these little crystal stones in there, it I don't know what it is, but, you know, I will say this, folks. Just remember, well, I'm going to let this play and then I'll, I'll explain. are the season stones, the season crystals. Now, you the see, I'm mixing them. The spring, like green crazy. is summer. Orange is fall, and blue is winter. Can you give me some sort of crystal stone here to let me know about the season and what we need to pay attention to? Either the seasons in the past, the present, or the future. <laughs> yep. The winter. 
crazy. Folks, listen, i got to tell you, this stone, the blue stone has come up ev almost every time, I think actually every time, that I've been talking about something about Sebastian Rogers' case. Um, and he, like I said, he went missing in February this year, which was still winter, February 26th. So, and this blue stone, that's what it stands for. You know, and I asked the spirits, hey, give me a stone to represent something that we're talking about here that, that, that we need to think about. So the winter stone came up again. Yeah, I'm uh, shocked. See, I think the winter stone came up, has come up almost every time. That is crazy. I believe it has. Yeah. Thank you, spirits. Okay, spirits. We need a fortune teller to help us understand the situation here. Of Tony Mathis, and I have my fortune teller cards here. And folks, the uh, fortune you... the fortune tellers, I do have videos on them. So if you want to look on the playlist, I have them, and tells about a two minute story each. Uh, very good Dan, stories. Do you give us a fortune teller? Can you help us with a fortune teller? Just help us with a fortune teller. I need a one, two, three, or four. <laughs> Y'all are still studying. You're doing good, spirits. I need a one, two, three, or four. A three, so that'll be that. I go from the left to the right. So be that. And let's see who we have. Oh, we have Madame Clint. El Kazana Gazdane. Yeah. Oh, she is wonderful. And she represents the clubs. Yeah. Oh, wow. Great story. And the clubs, folks, in the Cardamancy world, that uh, that represents fighting. Yes. But we'll get to that card here, and she'll help us with a card here very soon. Yes, El Kazana can dance. Now, spirits, we need a spirit tarot card. And folks, I want you to let, know that I only pull one tarot card on, on this type of reading. Um, and I can get the best story out of just one card, but I also got other cards here that I'm going to be pulling, but you'll see, but boy, this, this one come up was very interesting. Can you help us with a spirit tarot card that uh, may have something to do with the situation of, uh, Tony Mathis and his, uh, role playing in the, uh, Seth Rogers and Sebastian Rogers case? Can you give us a card that has something to do with this situation and what we may need to pay attention to? And I'm asking for you to just give me a number of cards to deal out till we get to the one number or one card. Five, okay. One, two, three, four, and that is the fifth card. And folks, I do do reversals on these. Uh, F1 comes up reverse. Now let's see if it's reversed or forward. Oh, right. hmm. <laughs> uh, the Six of Cups, and it is yep. upright. It is forward. See that? Yeah, folks, that is such a interesting card. Um, now, my good friend Marilyn... She always says, no matter what tarot card deck you have, always look at the artwork. The artwork by the artist was given some kind of special meaning to do art. Now we have the Six of Cups. Um, this is a uh, minor arcana card. Um, but it, it tells a story here. And the artwork's telling a story. And we have, you know, we have young love here. And, and, um, but let me, I'm going to let this play so you can hear the description of this card. It's quite something. In general context, the Six of Cups tarot card can represent nostalgia, childhood memories, and focusing on the past. When this card appears in a tarot spread, you may be being influenced by past events, reminiscing about the past or thinking about someone from your past. The Six of Cups is also the Minor Arcana card of children. 
young people and youthfulness and can represent having children or taking care of or working with them. It can signify simplicity, playfulness, innocence, goodwill and sharing. It can also represent protection and family. If you have been going through a tough time, the Six of Cups may be telling to take the support available to you from family and close friends. When the Six of Cups appears in a tarot spread, it can also indicate that you are being childish or immature. If combined with certain supporting cards it can, in some cases, indicate childhood abuse. It can also signify homesickness for those that live abroad. Okay, so that's, an, that's one of the things, folks. When I, when I, because I have all of these cards um, documented of what they stand for, you know, from the um, upright to reversals. Um, and when this card came up, folks, and I'm seeing what it's saying, you know, like, I mean, this, to me, it's like a, it's talking about, first of all, it's talking about children. Well, we're talking about a child that's missing here. Um, we're also talking about, you know, possibly a, an abusive situation that if it's mixed with other cards. Um, but it's also talking about somebody trying to help a family. And I, I thought that was quite interesting. And I will say this, folks, that Tony says he's helping Seth uh, try to mediate things, you know, to talk to people and so Seth doesn't have to. But there's been a whole lot of stuff going on, you know, since then. But, um, yeah, it's interesting, some of the cards that's coming up and the stuff that's coming up on this. And like I said, I don't know Tony from Adam. I don't, all I know him is, like, you know, on the uh, uh, YouTube and, uh, like, I think he has a TikTok, but I don't have TikTok count, so... Uh, but I see other YouTubers that bring it on. And that's the only way I know Tony. So yeah. if you know things, like if you know more about Tony and you know that something's coming up on this board, dude, you're saying, oh, that's that's why that is. Uh, let me know in the comments. I would love to know that. Six cups. Ooh, that's, a, that's an interesting card. Yes, it definitely is. Now, spirits. Now, the next one is, too, yeah, this is the Cardamency cards, which you can tell the, uh, supposedly you can tell a fortune with poker cards, and boy, is it was interesting. On this is the Cardamency cards. Can you uh, help us with a Cardamency card, El Gazona Gadames, that has something to do with Tony Mathis? And this is where our fortune teller comes, when, comes in. I have four fortune tellers and they each represents the suit to poker cards you know club hearts spade and diamonds and so she represents the club so we're going to find a club card something to do with tony mathis all right i'm going to flip through the cards and the first club that i come to will be the card that we need to pay attention to it's a spade Diamond. And we're mm. looking for a yep. club. Ooh. <laughs> I believe we have found our club here. Oh my goodness. This is, uh, look at here. This is interesting, folks. This is the Nine of Clubs. Yep. So, folks, the Nine of Clubs. So, um,. Boy, <laughs> like I said, I don't know Tony. I don't know his situation. But pay attention to the artwork, first of all. Okay, the um, brilliant artwork on these cards. And you're looking at a, you know, a um, guardsman from the past, you know, a soldier, if you will. Um, and he's got his eye on the prize, okay? On the, on the you know, the, the globe, the... You know, and it's, wow. <laughs> let me let this play just a minute up here and show you what this card represents. And like I said, the clubs, in a general, they can mean fighting and other things, but this is the key word. 
And look at what it says is achievements and helping someone in need. Now, that's what he was trying to do or what he is trying to do from what he says about self. He's trying to help. So, And then you've got, you know, spiritual, spiritual beings above the clouds, um, praying, giving some so giving thanks and protective clothing or item, items and of course um, at, uh, asking for forgiveness so yeah there's some been some stuff that's come out that uh, from what I understand Tony has not been really key, keyed in on some of the situations and he said things that he probably probably regrets I'd say another thing the card represents um, it in the United States, it's, uh, each one will have a different state that the card represents. This is Maryland, and in the country, throughout the world, this one is Iraq. I don't know if that means anything. If Tony, if you happen to be watching this, uh, just remember, this is entertainment. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. But if Iraq or Maryland means something to you, let me know in the comments. Be interesting. This is the Bright Vision card. Galahad, the legendary knight credited with finding the Holy Grail. This card is associated with the idealistic vision and the tendency to become disconnected from reality. This club card has picked up on your religious values. You may soon be presented with a lost soul that needs your help, so be strong with your beliefs. The nine represents achievements can also mean a secret admirer that you or an acquaintance will soon experience. Keep your vision focused on all that is positive. Now, that's really interesting that this come up because it's like this card is talking to Tony. Um, and I mean, it, it really does because, you know, it can mean that you're, you know, your stronger beliefs, you're, it's all about trying to help someone. Um, so, and and it's and it's saying keep your uh, vision focused. You know that's the thing I would take away away from this. Keep your vision focused. Now all the cards uh, in this deck from each fortune teller they have a special message uh, at the end here of their card reading. And this is uh, uh, Mrs. El Gazon's good names. It's hard for me to say that. This is her special message. Uh, the prayer that you requested will soon be answered in many ways. And when it does, pray it forward. I really like that. Pray it forward. Yep. This is a interesting card. Thank you, Spirits, for that. Now, Spirits... I want to give a name. Yeah, and this is where I'm giving a name to the uh, adult female spirit of, on the table here. Possibly that, so they can relate. That's the way we, that's way I've been taught to do. To our spirit here, our lady, and her name is Josephine. Josephine. Josephine is our adult. <laughs> she is our adult spirit name. She is the one that uh, either has something to do with this uh, whole situation of card readings, uh, either with Sebastian Rogers, Seth Rogers, or Tony Mathis. Josephine. Also, spirits, can you give me a number? Something that relates, because I've got... Oh, they, bunch of numbers in here and I'm gonna pull two numbers out spirits can you give me a number two numbers that has something possibly to do with this case about Tony Mathis and his involvement in the Sebastian Rogers Pick one more, spirits. Fifty. <laughs> Zero. Five. Oh. Yep. 
Does anybody know anything about 50? What this would mean? Is Tony how old is Tony? I don't know. Uh, and uh, if somebody knows what this 50 would mean to maybe Sebastian Rogers' case related to maybe Tony or Seth Rogers or something, let me know in the comments. Uh, 50. Have I heard Hawaii 50? Yep. <laughs> Hawaii 50. Now we're going to do something interesting here. We have our story. First of all, we have a character. Spirits, can you give me a character? Something to... And this, folks, I really, really enjoy this because if the spirits are around, if I have some kind of phenomenons, this storytelling is just amazing. So, uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. We got characters and events and season cards. It to Tony Mathis here. Something that has something to do with Tony. Possibly something to do with Tony Mathis. And we have a bunch of character words in here. I hear you communicating. And let's see who our character is. It has to do someone who did bad things ages ago. <laughs> yeah, well, that... Well, mm, okay, I don't know what that means, but there it is. Wow. <laughs> I think all of us pr can probably communicate or relate to that. I know that uh, I was not a, a good child. I was, you know, I had my fair share of growing up and being mean when I shouldn't have been. But you never know what these things are saying and, and what it's trying to pick up on. So, our character. Okay. And now, we need an event to go with that. What event, spirits, someone who did bad things ages ago, has something to do with Tony Mathis? Wow. And we have... <laughs> oh, God. So, the first day of job, what the heck was this mean? Like... Okay, so these two are supposedly kind of supposed to go together, maybe, but maybe not. It may mean something else, and, you know, Tony may know what this means, you know, first day of job. Maybe he's talking about the first day of job helping Seth. It's like, Lord, what did I get into? Um, but my first no. day of job. So someone who did bad things ages ago, <laughs> maybe on the first day of their job. Mm. And on this, let's do this. Let's, yeah. And these this, are the... Now, folks, this is interesting. This is, a, this is story blocks. It's not my ghost spirit blocks, the other ones that I use like a, uh, on different readings. But this is the different type of... Well, this is interesting that comes up. I use one block on this and there's about nine blocks and each block has you know like six images so it's got a lot to choose the from the spirits do that has something to do with this story here and i always try to ask the spirits you know give me something good out of this something that's kind of makes sense to the story about the person we're talking about this blocks something to do with the story here <laughs> And see that on the stage or screen, in a story or a novel, the protagonist is the main character and the antagonist is the opposing one. Pro and ant usually mark the good and bad characters, but not always. There may occasionally be an evil protagonist and a good antagonist. In the drama of the real world, it's especially hard to sort out which is which. So we usually speak of both parties to a conflict as antagonists. <laughs> so when this came up, I'm saying, what? Are you serious? Now, Tony, if you are watching this, I ain't calling you an antagonist. But I'm just saying, um, maybe the spirits, you know, they're talking to you or somebody you know. Who knows? But whether this is good or bad, I don't know. But you've got to admit it's interesting that this came up. Antagonist. You see that? It says an antagonist. Is that part of our story? Mm -hmm. 
Holy cow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Does this have something to do, this story here? I hear you communicating. Oh boy, do I hear you communicating. So this is the season cards that goes along with our season of winter. Does this have something to do with Tony Mathis? Tell me how many cards to deal out. The season card. Two. And two. Okay. And let's continue with our season cards here. Wow. Another season card. One. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see. This is part of the story. Someone who did bad things ages ago, possibly on the first day of the job. But something in this whole reading here has something to do with the winter, with winter, the season winter, has something possibly to do with uh, five o and the next new moon. Yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, hmm, I wonder what that means, you know. Uh, we're just now coming into the full moon, folks, okay? Uh, so the new moon, of course, is when we don't have the full moon. Um, but, um, yeah. Now, some people would say a full moon is the new moon. I call the new, new moon when it's completely dark. That's what I'm saying, you know. And then, you know. But is this telling us something here? Is it telling Tony something? Uh the next new moon, which will be in June sometime, you know. So you see that next new moon. I love okay. these cards. They really, it's, okay. it's you never know what you're going to get. Tony Mathis, maybe the next new moon you may need to pay attention to. Definitely. And to go along with the next new moon, <laughs> something <laughs> also within the next three years. Yeah. Now, when I saw this, I'm like, wow. Do you need to? Is it going to happen? Like it says, the first one said within the, the new moon, but this one's saying within three years. So this could be talking about something. So, Tony, maybe something within the next three years, very important, is going to happen. So keep your eye out, right? Never know. It's possible. Could be. Could be. But something possibly the, in the next new moon. Uh, could be happening, so keep your eye out for that. Yep. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay, folks. Well, here we go. Probably from all the comments I get, folks, I, I the this is probably one that I get the most of the tea leaf reading, and probably one of my most enjoyable things to do um, on this board. It's it just just amazing. So this is Tony Mathis's uh, tea leaf reading, and this is yeah interesting. Hello, spirits. Negative spirits. Negative spirits, please go away. We only want positive spirits here. Positive spirits. All the negative spirits, please go away. Please go away bringing in positive spirits spirits from the tea leaves here can you give me some sort of or give us some sort of uh, information or some kind of vision about Tony Mathis he is Seth Rogers spokesperson for Sebastian Rogers who has went missing February 26 2024 can you give us some sort of vision that may point out something about his situation, Tony Mathis's situation? Is it possible that you could give us some sort of vision in these tea leaves? Some sort of vision. This is my personal pocket watch. If you can give me, give us a vision. Give me a vision of Tony Mathis, of something 
that has something to do with the situation of Sebastian Rogers. Oh, Lord, folks. Did I ever look at this? seeing I'm seeing a vision right here let me get you a better look so folks here's what I asked Marilyn because I kind of did I kind of thought that's that's what I was looking at but she said okay what do you see I said well I see a big glob in the center and then I see little bits going around and uh, she said yep exactly right and she said in her vision she said what she sees out of this is that that glob in the center is the circle. It's like the world, you know, it's a circle. And the things on the outside of it is people. But the, 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 the front is like a donkey, an ass, she said. <laughs> and the people in the back is following the ass in circles. And I'm like... Marilyn, you're just awesome. I said, you know, I never even thought about that. But it, it does. But folks, let me know what you see. Because i got to say, there's all kinds of things you could make out of this. But not saying that it, this is related to Tony and Sebastian and Seth Rogers and the whole story here. But it possibly could. Because we are asking the spirits, you know, something about Tony Mathis. And I'm not saying that Tony Mathis is the ass in the front and people are following. I'm just saying that this does seem like what Marilyn says. It just looks like that. So it's interesting. And then we'll look at the drippings next. Wow. Right there. So. Let me know what you think, folks. I, I love this. This is just... I had to look at this and I'm like, I have no idea. And then it started it coming to me. We got somebody possibly right here. Yep, that's what it's looking like, you know. But we got a big image right here. Following the that's ass. That. That's crazy. <laughs> and the drippings. Let's see what the drippings tells us. Yep. Wait. <laughs> oh, you see all this? Is that a person? And is this people listening? Is that good? Or is that bad? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, so this one I looked at and I kind of thought that I was looking at the same thing. But I went ahead and sent Marilyn a photo of this. And she said, yeah, this is... She's, she saw what looked like an angel, the big image uh, at the front there and then the little part little things above what looked like a angel is little tiny angels um, and they're looking down at all the mess down on earth and they're floating around and I mean it does look like that this could be an angel with like the brown wings there and but one of them I'll tell you one of these look like a gun to the left up there I don't know and then one of them looked like a bird and I, I got to thinking about Twitter you know and and all but let me know in the in the comments folks what are you seeing here and what do you think this has something to do with Tony Mathis in this case of Sebastian Rogers it's very interesting how this comes up love this people are listening to this it looks like yeah, one of my favorite things to do. This is interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, spirits. Thank you for this. Yep. People Thank following the, the ass. Thank you. Bam. We have <laughs> our spirit report card. <laughs> Folks, love this too. This is one of the things I've came up a uh, long time ago and I use it um, and I just started using it in my videos just recently but 
people love this. I've had so many comments about this, and I even somebody even sent a text and said maybe Chris Proudfoot needs a spirit report card. <laughs> and I said, okay, well we may do that. But this is Tony's uh, report card, the spirit report card. Now remember, if Tony, Tony, if you are watching this, which you may, I mean, I'm not saying you won't, but if you do, remember it. Grain of salt. Uh, if you're sick, go to the uh, go to the doctor. Don't don't rely on rely on a spirit port card. Okay, never, uh, never rely on. And then, like I said, I'm not a psychic or a medium, but it's interesting what's coming up here, folks. Yep, I'm just gonna say, Tony Mathis. Let's see what the spirits, how the spirits are gonna rate you here. Let's see here. This is always interesting, folks. And we have our... In here we have the bottle caps. Yeah, and in, in there I have... There's 50 bottle caps. And so our score is 50. So you, if you get 50, it means you're done good, right? So you'll see. here. And this... And there's either A, B, C, D, or F. Just like what you would... Or used to get in school. I don't know what they do now. What they give them. They'll give us yeah. a rating. Or they'll give you a rating. Yeah, so. Spirits help me. With a rating. Help me with a rating. Tony Mathis. So, for his report card. Alright. So this is going to be for romance. Tony <laughs> how's your romance you think. And, uh, before we flip the bottle cap over. There's what this bottle cap looks like. Here. And give me another one for finances. How's your finances there? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Mine is never good, but... Uh, nope, it ain't. It's never. the bottle cap. We'll flip that over. That'll be for your finances. And your health. And remember, always check with your doctor if you're feeling bad. Yeah. But this kind of gives you just a little... Yeah, never go to by the advice of a bottle cap, okay? Just sense don't. of what you need to maybe... What your rating might be on it, what the spirits may think. Here's for the help here, and then we have the spirituality. You know, some say that's a real important one there. That's yep. what this bottle cap looks like: spirituality, and then finally, well, not finally, yeah, finally on this one we have awareness. Again, so. Awareness. So, what are you aware of? And that's what that bottle cap looks like. Okay. <laughs> so, Tony. So, your romance. Let's see what score you get here. Well, oh, looks like you got a C. A C. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. A C on your romance. Now, finances. How's how's the finance business there for you? No, lower and okay. oh no. <laughs> And remember, grain of salt, okay? We're dealing with spirits that possibly may or may not be here. So, you know, you never know what's going on on the board. That. I don't know. Take this with a grain of salt. Remember this, okay? This is entertainment, okay? Um, oh, gosh, your health. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I know. That could bother you. That could be an issue, you know? Don't let it bother you, okay? Like I said, if you feel bad, go to the doctor. If you feel good, the elf on the health means fine. <laughs> Always remember, check with your doctor if you don't feel good. Right. Elf on the health. Hmm. Okay, spiritual. And you know, sometimes you never know what the spirits are trying to say to us, you know? Maybe, because this is just kind of an outlook of things that... You know, we need to pay attention to, you know. Sometimes people avoid all this stuff in their life and they don't, and then it turns into trouble, you know. So always pay attention to your, especially your health. I always tell people that, yeah, take care of yourself. How's the spirituality going? Well, you did get a little better, okay. D, it ain't great at all, but spirituality the spirits are kind of saying you know got a little better yeah, i guess possibly right 
And then finally, your awareness. So what are you aware of? Are you aware of things that are surrounding? Are you aware of what was <laughs> going to happen to this whole situation? <laughs> you know, now, Tony, if you're watching, you may agree to some of these. I mean, I don't know. But I'm just saying, if I got this score, and I have done my own, I've, you know, I've asked the spirit, give me, a, you know, my spirit court card. And it was, it was bad. Let me tell you, it was bad. It was like all else. And I promise you, there's A's and B's in that bag. There's an equal amount of bottle caps in that bag. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. But, yep. Okay. Just means you need to pay attention a little bit more, right? Yeah, I'd say. Okay. <laughs> Man. Well, let's see here. Hmm. Tony, I don't know. So, we got... Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Mm. 16, Tony, out of 50. Well, Tony, I, I just I just want you to know I got a worse score than that, okay? So, um, yeah. But it's interesting what comes up on this, right? And you can see the numbers next to the letters. That's how I add this up. It's like... Um, yeah, so two, four, six, eight, ten. That's where you get this number. <laughs> but this, I, I love this because you never know what it's going to be. And when I do this for folks like friends and stuff, oh my goodness, some of them get excited, and then some of them are just like, "What the heck? What the heck?" So, like you said, yeah, did take this with a grain of salt, and especially the health one people freak out out about it. like oh god i had health the 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 spirits are going to say i'm i'm going to get sick or die or something like that. no the spirits are not going to tell you that they're not going to tell you that you know what the spirits are telling you keep an eye on yourself make sure you stay healthy that's what you're you know so if you're not keeping a checkup on things you know you know maybe you need to and i always try to remember that myself but, but this is, this is so going. interesting my what the spirits possibly are scoring you on different situations. So take it all with a grain of salt. Yeah, but looky here. <laughs> wow. Get these bad spirits and negative out of here. Yeah. All right, spirits, you are more than welcome now to lead this session. And that's what I do, folks. I release the spirits i tell them all to go away and then i asked them you know that i or i'll let them know that i will be coming uh, ask them to come back so here's our reading this was our reading for tony mathis and i i thought you know out of all the things that i've seen and heard videos about here recently about him and how the the chatter on the internet is that there's mixed views um about him helping self uh me i'm just watching to see how this all plays out um i don't know what to think about the whole situation other than the fact that i wish they would find this uh poor child sebastian that's my number one hope um you know to find him and you know um, some of the things that comes up on these readings is really, truly amazing. And for when you have a, you know, when you have a card that comes up, such as the Six of Cups, and it's upright, and it's talking about, you know, it's talking about family and kindness and childhood issues, then it makes you think, wow, how come this card come up? But maybe that's why, you know, you never know what the spirits are trying to say. And of course, you know, when you have the uh, Nine of Clubs coming up, you know, it also, it says uh, it's a protecting uh, card, you know, and it's also just says it's, you know, it's, it's keeping your, and it's trying to tell you to keep your focus on something that you originally have your, had your eye on, you know, whether this is good or bad, I don't know. I, I do want to hear everybody's um comments uh, about this what you think this reading had to do with maybe tony i know a lot of you don't know tony no more than i do but you you've seen things you've heard things you've seen how he's uh projected himself throughout interviews you know with 
uh, self, Rogers, and it seems like you're, every time that you see self in the last, you know, week or two or three or whatever, um, Tony Mathis, Mathis has been there. So um, I'm just saying that, you know, it's, it, we just need to concentrate on this fellow right here. Okay, this is who we need to concentrate and try to find and get the word out and get his picture out and talk about it. And if you go to the store and you see somebody, oh, you ain't seen in a while or, or you know, say, hey, have you heard about the Sebastian Rogers case? No. Well, tell them about it, you know, and, and, and if you have a flyer or something, show them. I don't know how many people I've talked to, folks, that has no clue. And I live in East Tennessee, okay? He's from Middle Tennessee. But there are people I talk to that don't know. They don't know the story. Um, every once in a while, I'll say, yeah, you know, have you kept up with the story of Sebastian Rogers? And they'll say, I barely have heard about it. I kind of think, in the, you know, and I'm like, Wow. So I tell them to go to my channel, you know, which I have another channel too, folks. I know you don't, may not know though, this is, it's called, Oh, What I Saw Today. And I'm, I pick up on things that people are talking about Sebastian, you know, whether it's good or bad or how it's, but the fact is, it's keeping his name out there. Okay. The more, um, well, we can keep this child's name out there. The more somebody possibly could see him or if they go looking, you know, maybe can find out what happened to him. So, well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and call it a evening on this reading. I sure appreciate each and every one of you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, if you would, please do so. It will um, let you know that I've got another reading coming out. And uh, if you uh, will, if you do have a loved one, please Go give them a hug, especially your children, and tell them you love them. Because, folks, this is a fine example of what, why you should do that, okay? So, folks, thank you so much. Uh, please be safe out there. Until next time, folks, this is George. And, well, we'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.